Hello dear students, this is the 11th video lecture of class 10 chapter 12 electricity and in today's video lecture we are going to cover section 12.6 introduction to resistance of a res system of resistors and this is the part 1 of the topic. These are the topics which I had already covered in my previous video lectures. So, if you want to watch this video lecture then click the i button. So, first question arise in our mind is what is meant by resistance of a system of resistor? Statement itself explain that what does it means. We have to understand this keyword systems, resistance and resistors. So, we know that resistors have resistance, but here we are gonna talk system of resistor which means there will be more than one resistor and we will learn the resistance of those resistors. We learnt about some simple electric circuit in our previous video lectures. We have noticed how the current through a conductor depends upon its resistance and potential difference across its end. In various electrical gadgets, we often use resistors in various combination. So, if you had watched my previous video lectures, then you had seen that in many circuit we had made use of resistors. Resistors can be symbolized like this and in real life resistors look like this. Here it has some bands and from bands we identify that how much ohms does these resistors have. Now we will see what does the word system means. As I told that system means so in your previous class you might have studied that there are two ways of connecting any component first in series and second in parallel connection. So, what is the meaning of series connection? Series connection means here you can see this diagram which symbolizes that it is a series connection. So, as you can see here we had connected battery then we had connected a bulb negative positive again this is the important thing that again if we connect another component different pole like with positive connect negative and then it is known as a type of series connection. So, as you can see here the red one symbolizes positive one then green one negative then again negative with negative again here positive ok. So, like this positive negative positive negative positive negative this type of connection is known as series connection and if we talk about parallel connection what happens in parallel connection this is positive terminal of battery and this is negative terminal of battery here you can see positive end is connected with the positive terminal and negative end is connected with the negative terminal again with positive positive is connected and negative negative is connected again here positive with negative so here the connection will somewhat look like this so here the connection will be positive 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 negative 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 such kind of arrangement of connection is known as parallel connection. So, this you have studied in your previous classes. So, there will be two methods available for joining resistors together in a system. So, first will be series connection of resistor. So, here the example is shown to you. What does this want to tell us that here we will understand step by step. Here we had our battery. Okay this battery is connected with the emitter. So, I had already told you in my previous video lectures that we have to connect emitter always in series connection and voltmeter always in parallel connection. So, this thing you have to remember as here we had connected emitter in series connection and then this is a resistor 1 whose resistance is R 1, resistor 2 R 2, resistor 3 R 3. We had connected all these resistors in series connection like this ok and at the end x and y in parallel connection we had connected our voltmeter to observe reading and a meter in series to observe reading and so and here we had connected our plug key. So, flow of current is from positive direction it goes to a meter then from a meter it, it passes from resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3 and then again to the circuit. So, this type of arrangement is known as series connection. We will understand 
the circuit in next part so we will understand relation between ohm's law and resistor in series and parallel connection in next part another way to connect resistors is in parallel connection so this is the example of it here note that we have taken a resistor in parallel connection so you can note the difference here in series it looks like this that all the resistors are connected together but but in parallel you can see here that first resistor is connected like this again second resistor is like this and again third resistor is like this so if resistors are connected in this arrangement then it is known as parallel connection so here you can see at point a and b you can note here point a all the left hand side of resistor is connected at, at point a and all the right hand side terminal of resistor is connected at point b they share a same terminal with each other this type of arrangement as i told you is known as parallel connection uh, in such manner we connect resistors in parallel connection next video lecture we will first see resistors in series thank you stay tuned and stay safe notes are uploaded on the bloggers page of time to cram so visit the bloggers page to download the notes and the link of the bloggers is given in the description box so check the description box get the link and download the notes and if you find this video helpful and informative then like it and do share it with your friends and classmates and yet you had not subscribed to our channel time to cram then subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get latest notification and update when new video is uploaded that's all for today's video lecture thank you